question in Agile CRM, the in-app training, and the Q&A. Uh, some of the highlights today is that we have over seven customers worldwide. Thank you guys so much for being a part of that. Uh, we're your own one CRM. We automate your sales, marketing, and service on one platform. We're affordable. We're free for 10 users. Uh, how great is that? And next generation, we're modern, simple, and we're super fast. Uh, so why marketing automation in Agile CRM? Well, for one, we're multi-channel. With Agile CRM, marketers can now provide their customers a seamless and prompt experience, regardless of channel or device. Businesses can now engage with their customers on our website, mobile device, digital catalog, or through social media. We're multi-step. Uh, Agile CRM helps you reach out to a potential lead right from the beginning of their interaction and keep a track of the individual digital behavior to gain highly actionable insights. Uh, some of the topics we're going to cover today includes the campaign, the triggers, web engagement, mobile marketing, social marketing, landing page builder, email builder, web analytics, and the report. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I uh, really do appreciate it. Uh, we're going to look at the Agile uh, opening screen for a moment because we want to point out that we made a couple of changes to the UI uh, over the summer. We made a lot of things more accessible and made it more efficient. So on the left-hand toolbar, for example, you'll notice that the uh, sales, marketing, and the uh, help desk module are on one, on one side now, on one little uh, dividable three-section modules. Our apps button is still there as well, or the Rubik's Cube. You can switch between the sales, marketing, uh, and the service. Quick note, on the upper left-hand corner, this icon here in between the cloud and the magnifying glass, this will expand and collapse the uh, left-hand toolbar. But for now, we're gonna, today we're going to focus on marketing, right? or this little uh, middle tab here. I'll open this one again just to demonstrate. Right? And with marketing automation, obviously, the most important thing is the content. Uh, without the content, you have no material to send out. So let's focus on the content first. We'll build out the content, and then we'll send out our first campaign. Uh, we're going to cover basically all the subjects here, uh, campaigns, triggers, uh, email templates, forms, landing pages, and more. But we'll start with the land templates first. Uh, clicking on uh, the email templates, right? We're going to take a look here. You'll see that the email templates. This is where you'll personalize and customize email templates for every scenario in the sales cycle. Uh, if I click Add Email Template here, you'll get our pre-designed templates, and you could choose between great pre-designed templates, edit text, change images, and finish creating an awesome newsletter in just minutes. You can style your newsletter around your company's colors and themes using the inline CSS support for HTML templates. Uh, layouts and pre-designed templates gives you the much needed start for your email campaigns. Users can customize them as per the requirement, and they don't need any programming skills. Agile's mar email marketing software makes designing templates a simple and easy job. Uh, we have some great ones here for celebration. You'll notice uh, Christmas is almost here. So uh, we're going to stick with the Christmas theme right now. And so if we hit go, and we load up the template, you'll notice that Agile, we feature a drag and drop email builder. And email marketing has always been a seamless process in Agile CRM. Previous versions of the email builder had some elements of drag and drop. And this new enhanced version includes new templates, email design blocks, and even more streamlined process for previewing and testing emails uh, before sending them out. Uh, from our marketing automation flow workflow to our landing page builder, we're dedicated to making your sales and marketing tools easy to use so you can get back to business. It all happens with Agile's email marketing CRM. So what I'm doing here is I'm just dragging different blocks that I want to expand the, uh, the template on. So you can see how easy it is. I can, I can drag, I can edit, I can move the columns if I like. And of course, I can delete the blocks as well. So if I want to click on, let's say, edit the text here, I can click on the text and edit. And I'll basically start my Christmas campaign. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the email templates here. I'm going to click on Add Email Template again. I'm going to start a custom one instead. We're going to build one from scratch. And we're going to just pull out the, uh, the the drag and drops of the different blocks in a few minutes. But let's stick with the Christmas theme. Uh, let's say uh, Merry Christmas. The holidays are here. 
I can choose to use the, the, the text tools here and let's say make it bold, right? So let's drag out the, the, the title, we'll drag out a divider, let's drag out an image. Okay, so we'll start customizing here. Merry Christmas, come home for the holidays, our big holiday sale starts now. Okay, great. And let's uh, get a picture going. Let's add a picture. One moment while I try to find a nice home so I can put up on here. Give me one moment. So we say, what? Come home for the holidays, right? Let's get a nice little home picture there. It looks kind of homey, right? And I could change the uh, the picture here. Let me just make a quick edit. I'll change the width and hit apply. Maybe I'll adjust this later. Okay. Now, Agile CRM, we recently made some changes to our, our drag and drop uh, format here as well. We added a video button. If I drag a video button here, I can actually film a video. By clicking this record button, I can make a video or I can link a video I previously recorded using this and then put it on here as well to share it to my clients. Maybe, I don't know, I want to make a video of the, of the, uh, the Christmas tree, you know, something like that just in case. Feel free to incorporate videos as well. But I'm going to stick with the the Christmas theme here for our Christmas uh, edition of the show, and I'm going to just drag drag out the uh, social links here, right? Uh, social media, right? We add out email marketing software it helps you reach a large audience and to expand the reach of your email campaigns. You can share them on Twitter, Facebook, and other social channels. The email template builder comes with social media icons, which you can then share on on you know Twitter, Facebook, and other social channels. Um, you can these social media icons, you can drag and drop them to your email. This allows subscribers to share their email campaigns by adding these social media share buttons to them. And this helps you to know the social reach of your campaigns alongside engaging your audience. So I can choose, like for example, enter Facebook, Twitter. I'm not sure people use LinkedIn for uh, advertising, but let's say you don't want to. Let's take these away. We'll take away YouTube as well, Instagram, and Pinterest. Okay. So let's say we'll keep it simple here. Uh, maybe I'll put a couple more texts. Maybe if you visit our site, I'll add a link to the website. I'll click the link button right here. Okay. And I'll hit done. Now, next thing, right? Maybe you want to add a personal touch to your emails automatically. You can personalize emails with a contact name company, location, interest, and more. You can even send coupons based on customers' interest and browsing uh, habits. So for example, if I want to personalize this email here, let's say. So I want to make it more personal. Let's say, uh, add a dear Mr. and Mrs. I could use the merge fields here and add the last name. Right. Maybe I could put a phrase like celebrate the holidays with, and I'll insert the company. Oops, I, I, clicked, I, <laughs> I clicked the wrong spot. Let's try that again. So I'll reenter this here, merge fields, contact last name, and I want to use the merge fields for the company. There we go. Looks a little bit better, okay. So we're going to save this template now. We'll call this uh, marketing automation number uh, 
24. Subject will be Christmas sale. And now we can also add a category as well. As we create these, you may want to put in a specific category. So I can put up a new a new category. Uh, let's do Christmas. For better organizing, we'll set up the category and I hit save. All right, we did our first temp template, email template. Now let's start to incorporate this in a campaign. Um, I'm going to go back to the menu here. I'm going to open this for everybody to see. We're going to go into the campaign section. So basically, uh, Agile CM, we use the workflow at automation. A workflow is a smart uh, sales and marketing automation process to send your contacts the relevant information at just the right time. So if I click Add Campaign here, we're going to start building out this workflow. And, and the best way to this, describe the workflow is basically uh, when you were a kid in, in math class and it was time to program a robot. And your teacher brings out the robot and, and she, he or she will give you a flow chart. And this flow chart will be you know, how you're going to program this robot. For example, we're going to make the robot walk, lift the right leg, lower the right leg, lower, uh, raise the left leg, lower the left leg. And using this flow chart, that's how it's done. Well, Agile CRM, we use a workflow process for each campaign that you're going to build. And basically, uh, it's a step-by-step -step, step process on telling the system how to send out your campaign, how you want to react to certain conditions as well. So uh, we have a lot of different templates already pre-built for you. For example, we have an autoresponder uh, where you can send and follow up automatically uh, after a specific duration. We have marketing automation, the popular A-B test, where you can test your emails and compare the results and optimize your messages. Uh, SaaS, e-commerce, right? Maybe the abandoned cart, right? Where you can detect when users abandon carts and send them relevant communications. But for this demonstration, we're going to use the newsletter one. I'm going to hit go here. I notice right away that the campaign section used the same drag and drop designer as we just saw a few minutes ago in the email template. You can define your marketing workflows with an easy drag and drop designer. You can build multi-step marketing campaigns visually in just a few minutes with Agile CRMs marketing automation software. So you see the first step. We're going to start and we're going to send a newsletter. Let's open this up and let's start composing our newsletter. So first thing you're going to be is, is the info box. You notice these five tabs here. Uh, in the from section, the name is going to say updates, but we're going to put our company. So in my case, it could be, you know, be Agile CRM or our pretend company, right? And we're going to put a subject. A Christmas sale is going on now. Big explanation points, right? Okay. Next, let's look at the settings here. We're going to talk about the, the track clicks. Track clicks is basically the email tracking. You can know who opens your email. See statistics on email opens and clicks. Use custom URLs to track contact action and increase email conversions uh, in the future. And if I, if I click here, and take a look at the, uh, the track clicks. You see, I have four different options. I have no, yes, yes, and push, and yes, and push. Basically, I tell people to pick the one at the bottom, yes, and push, to cover all your, your bases. Uh, yes, to track the email pushing. Uh, yes, to track the email clicking, opening, and push to push the tracking pixel out to your, to your contacts so, they can, so you can basically see if they clicked on any specific links in an email, for example. So always select yes and push to cover all your bases. Um, email schedule and send. You can use email scheduling to send important emails to your clients, customers at the optimum time on the perfect day. Uh, we autom automatically adjust for time zones and other factors. So let's say here we're going to send out an email today. We're going to make sure we're in Europe, London, uh, for example. And uh, any day, any time. But if it wants a specific time, maybe Thursday, later today, right after this workshop at 2 o'clock, I want to send out this campaign. But for now, just choose any day, uh, any time. HTML, this is where we're going to add the content. Remember, we just created uh, Marketing Automation Workshop number 24. So I'm going to click Select the Template Load from Editor here. And it's time to load in the content we just created. Now, just like before, uh, we also have some pre-built templates. Uh, this is the default one when you first open. If, if you wanted to, you could technically start typing right away and start working with it. If 
I click templates, I'll click OK. You'll see some pre-designed templates like before, just like the email templates, some slight designs here, some uh, different designs here. Like for example, this rocket ship one has 40 different variations. This one here is 36, so if I click into them, I can view all the variations. See the subtle changes? Pick one that I like, okay? But we're gonna, we're gonna focus with the one we just created a few moments ago. I'm gonna scroll back to the uh, marketing automation 24. and start to edit here. So for example, I may want to change the text, maybe I'll make the text bigger. Change the font family. Change the font size. Right? And then I could uh, change the size as well. Oh, maybe it's too big. Okay. Let's say this picture looks kind of small now. I'm looking at it, I'm going, hey, you know, maybe I can make it a little bit bigger, right? And of course, I could change the messages here as well. Now there's a preview button. And if I like what I see here, I'll just hit the save. Now I just want to point out to save a template, I must click save in three different places. Hit save here. Hit save here in the send email note. And then I'm going to name this campaign. I'll just call it Market Automation Workshop 24 and save campaign here as well. Only this way can I save the, the, the template. I'm going to talk about adding contacts manually and add triggers to campaigns in a few moments, but let's finish building this workflow. Okay, so we first got this workflow open. Um, let's open up another one. Uh, let's open up another, uh, pull out another icon here and start building out a workflow. So we sent the newsletter out. Maybe you want to check to see if they open it. Uh, it's going to ask you for a max wait time. I'm basically going to check to see if the contact has opened any of the previous emails sent, which is that one right there. Give them a, a max wait time of seven days, for example. And by the way, if you don't know what any of these nodes mean, there's a help tab right here. Click on the help tab, and you get a description of the node right here. So I'm going to do a max wait time of seven days. And I'll connect it together. All right, and let's see, if they opened it, maybe they clicked on it as well. Well, you know what, let's put a score up real quick. So let's do the the, 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 the scoring, let's add a score first. And we automate lead scoring. Uh, some, you can score leads automatically based on their actions, including email opens, link clicks, website browsing, and more. You can run campaigns based on lead scores and get real times alert about the hottest leads. After all, it's all about qualifying your content. So if I pull out a score, I can add it. So let's add about five points here. So if I open an email, I can score it, right? Automated lead scoring. And if I'm scoring it, well, maybe I want to see if they clicked it. I'll wait another seven days here. So hey, maybe if they open the email and they clicked it, I'll give another score. Now, what about some of these other options here? Um, you can tweet, for example. You can send out a tweet on Twitter, like, uh, hey, check your inbox. We have a great new weekly advertisement for you. Something like that if I wanted to tweet. But we have a lot more you can do here as well. Um, in the add more section, we have other options you can use, like set owner. You can add a task. Maybe at some point you want to want to schedule a phone call to follow up on. You can add deals, which includes integrating the sales automation because uh, once the lead is qualified, Agile CRM can automatically create deals and sign them to the right, assign them to the right sales rep. You could define your sales process and keep your sales and marketing automatically aligned 24-7.
So let's say I have a deal here as a possible sale. I could put a value, probability, uh, expected closure in days, more details, put this, the milestone I would like it in, deal source, and then save. So they have a deal, maybe it's time I want to add the task. Maybe it's a follow-up with a phone call, right, due in five days. Other section, other uh, other choice you can add and add more. Just just to go them go over them quickly. In email, you can check if somebody replied, right? In mobile, I can add an, an SMS text message, right? Um, automatically personalize your messages with a variety of custom SMS fields, including first name, last name, location, and company. Personal messages get a much higher response rate. Uh, I can also look at utilities, for example. Utilities is great because we can have a wait till. Let's see, you want to send the email out Christmas Eve. Let's say it's a Merry Christmas email so that I can wait to the 24th, for example. Some of the other ones we have is uh, transfer. Maybe at some point in the, trans in the campaign, I want to transfer them to a different uh, uh, campaign that I created. I could definitely do that here as well. But we talked about the, the, the campaign here on the right. We basically got this entire open one here. Oh, you know what? Let's don't forget real-time alerts, right? In the utilities, we also have the notify campaign. So um, real-time notifications allow you to keep up with events by instantly telling you when your customers open your email campaigns or when they click on the link in the email in the Agile CRM interface. So let's say I want to notify. Let's say all users. So it's did a pretty good job building up this yes site so far, right? Because you have the newsletter you go out, see if it's open, and then we're going to score it. And because they, if they opened it, we're going to give them a score. Maybe they clicked it. If they did, we'll give them another score. If they did all this, maybe we'll add a deal, right, to uh, automate the sales automation, make a task to call them and notify our team members. Now what about the no side here? Because if they don't open it, what do you want to do? Well, maybe we can send another email to them. And we'll do the exact same thing. We'll replace this with uh, your company. Maybe the subjects will be, are you uh, still interested? Okay. In the setting, in the track clicks, we'll make sure it's just in push. We'll set the time again, make sure it's Europe, London. Now, you have to do this every time, okay? There's no uh, remember from last time I said it to make it easy because uh, these settings could change at any time. Maybe you want to send it a different day or a different time. So just to be safe, you always got to set it every time. HTML, don't forget to select the template. And because we're uh, just going to pretend that we're going to do a follow-up email, I'll just pick something from the templates here. Let's say I like this email here. I'm going to just load it into a template uh, quickly. Done. Remember to hit save, 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 and then save over here. Okay. So this email is for the no, and then we're going to say, well, let's see if they opened it. And if they don't open it, they do open it, right? Let's say they do. We send the email out. They open it. Well, it, then we can guide right back on this side and save some notes because what happens is if we send the follow -up email, open the note, hey, give them a score. Follow this click. They clicked it. If they uh, clicked it, score it, and so on and so forth. But what if they don't open it? Well, we may just want to use a tag and tag them as not interested.
Nobody likes that, but you know it's a possibility. So we built out this nice campaign. We'll save it, and now we're prepared to send it out. Now there's two choices you have. You can you can set a trigger. You can add a trigger to the campaign. Basically, trigger targeted marketing campaigns using custom conditions such as a new tag, particular uh, lead score, new lead, and more. Triggers can be used for both contacts as well as companies, but I'm not going to use this right now. I'm going to click on Add Contacts manually first. So let's say here we're going to take a look at all my contacts. Clear it. So let's say here, if I like my uh, contacts, I'm just going to clear out the contacts so you guys see my whole list. So if I look at my list of contacts here, right, if I'm going to add contacts manually, I can select one. I can select two, three, five, ten, twenty, whatever I want to pick, and then click Add to Campaign. Maybe I want to select all. There's a checkbox right here next to the left of Add Tags. I can pick. I can select everybody. Click Add to Campaign. Select the campaign we just created. And then Add. Okay. But what if I want to use a trigger? So if I go to the triggers here, you'll notice I have a bunch of different triggers. And basic triggers are the predefined conditions set by you. So if a contact is satisfied, from your choice of action, right? It'll follow through with the uh, workflow automation. So for example, we have different triggers. For example, if someone added a contact, we can hit go and say, hey, if a new contact gets added, let's add it to my marketing automation campaign number 24, right? Let's say if a tag is added, we can say, hey, if a tag is added, add it to a marketing campaign number 24. Uh, perhaps a uh, call, we're using Twilio or Plivlio, inbound call, outbound call, comes in and, hey, I get a call from one of my clients, add them to campaign marketing number 24, okay? Uh, we could also use forms as well, so if you use an agile form, anytime someone submits information via form, you can uh, run campaign marketing workshop number 24. Uh, you know, while we're in the subject of form, let's use this as a segue to move on to the form section. And Agile CRM over the summer, we recently made some upgrades and updates to the forms. So previously, we had some limited forms. We added a few more. And forms are great because forms created using the form builder can be placed on your website or app. And these forms are already linked to your Agile account. So when a visitor fills out the form, a contact is created, and subsequent web activity is logged automatically. So if I click Add Form here, you notice we have a nice little selection here, including a nice colorful one, right? We're going to make it simple, though. We'll click Subscribe Now and make it a simple form. So I hit Subscribe Now. I can change it. Let's call this the uh, Christmas sign-up. We can redirect it in the form actions. Let's say you want to redirect it to uh, your company.com forward slash Christmas sale. So let's say after... Uh, they fill out this form, they get redirected to this link. Confirmation, it says, great, thanks for filling it out. Maybe you don't want that message. Maybe you just want to write, thank you. Merry Christmas. Other choices you have, preload field. So if somebody filled it out before and they come back to this page, you'll preload the field. Form tag, I can add a tag. Maybe it's a, a prospect. Email notifications. Any new contacts that comes in, do you want to be notified via email? I'm going to leave that as true. I can enable a recapture to fight off bots. And if I want to embed this, I can make the, tr the background transparent, which means uh, people can see the, the picture behind this form. I can hit Save. And you notice here there's already some pre-built fields. For example, I click on Name. You notice that the label is Name. And the footer is Enter Name. I could do something like Enter Enter first name. I can change that top to first name. And I just want to make sure it's mapped properly. So in the Agile field, if someone fills out first name, this will go to first name in Agile. 
then I could drag and drop a last name field. So let's drag the, uh, the last name field here. Click in. I'll make the text input last name. The placeholder, enter last name. And in the Agile field, I can choose last name here. Click Save. So now we've got this nice little form, first name, last name, email, and I'll save it. So that in our Christmas form here, if I touch it on the menu, you'll notice that there's a little publish arrow right here. And if I click on the publish arrow, I'll be given some choices, like the permanent link. I can copy and paste this to a button and say, I'll share this link with people and they could fill out the survey, uh, the, the form. I could use the embed code to embed this on a website, but I could also use the iframe version or the full source code if my website allows. Okay. So that's the forms. Uh, let's talk about some of the other lead generation uh, products on our platform. We have a couple ways you can lead generate. Forms is one way, right? Let's take a look at web rules. Web rules is our pop-ups. In Agile CRM, you can show pop-ups to visitors on your web page. And we're going to start by clicking Add Web Rules here. Let's design one. Uh, before I start, I want to point out that in order for pop-ups and the forms to, to work properly, you must add the Agile tracking code with Web Rules uh, enabled onto your system, uh, into your web pages. The web pages you want to use these, these forms, these pop-ups for, you must install the tracking code first. So let's access the tracking code. Let me show you. Click on your avatar, upper right-hand corner. Go to admin settings. So in the analytics here on the left-hand side, you'll have the analytics code, which is the tracking code with the web rules enabled. These two sentences could be three sentences on yours. You have to copy and paste it into the web pages HTML just before the slash body tag, the end body tag, to enable the tracking. So remember, for forms, pop-ups, you must have this tracking code enabled and put on your website. You have to ask your tech team, your web developer, or if you're not doing it yourself, just make sure you go to the web page. You want this, you want the Agile magic to start with the pop-ups and the forms. Make sure you copy and paste uh, the tracking code here to the uh, the page that you want and put the HTML right in the end body tag to uh, to incorporate these uh, this feature here. Okay. So, so back to the pop-ups for a moment. We offer a wide range of pop-ups. We have email forms, uh, confirmation forms, uh, surveys, right? Surveys are great because they're the survey, the online surveys, you can show customized online surveys and get invaluable customer feedback, ask questions, analyze answers, add tags and trigger actions based on contact responses to your custom online survey pop-ups. These, these surveys here for, for basic lead generation. Something pops up like this, it will say, hey, enter your email address, and it will create a contact, okay? Uh, but let's, let's use this one here. So obviously, um, I'll name this one Marketing Automation Workshop number 24, right? And I could choose what web page I want to send this to. So once the cookie, the tracking code is set up, I can then tell it what page to go to. Let's say it's uh, uh, your company. Com, right? And then I can I can add additional conditions here. And what's great is that you can choose other conditions before this pop-up will show. For example, if I want to target a specific visitor type, because maybe this pop-up is not for everybody. Uh, maybe it's just for an existing contact that visits your page. Well, you can show automatically personalized messages to your contacts and suggest offers based on their interests or ask them to complete action in your app with smart web engagement pop-ups. Or I could use anonymous. For example, engage new leads and anonymous web visitors with messages based on the page they are on, where they come from, and whether they are first time or repeat visitor. Uh, you can trigger these web forms based on the interest. So anonymous of visitors is a great way, but let's say I want to just have this show for everybody. I'll take it away, right? 
and then I want I can edit the, uh, the, the the template here just like the email the the email builder template or the, uh, the the campaign newsletter one. I could click in here and and show the appropriate messages. You can show targeted web pop-ups to greet new visitors, recommend your product, ask a question, or share a discount. And get the most out of the web out of your website by keeping leads engaged. So let's say uh, I could type something like uh, Christmas is here. Enter your email address for a great coupon. I don't know, something like that, right? <laughs> Hit save here, right? I could tell the system where to show it, maybe the center, maybe the right, bottom, or left. And I could tell when to show it. You can show messages based on the time a visitor spends on a page, the time they finish reading or scrolling, or when they're about to leave a web page. Okay, but for now, I'll just choose immediately. And then when I'm done, hit save, and it will be shown. The web route, the the pop-up will be shown on the, the web page specifically that you're entered here. Okay. Quick notice that we have a, a upgrade with the uh, the push notifications. Here we add a new feature called push notifications. You can engage with your audience easily through your browser notifications. Schedule and send messages messages to engage the right users at the most relevant time through our marketing campaigns. Uh, push notifications are a little bit different than the, uh, the web rules in that they don't take up the entire uh, screen when you're surfing. So for example, if I use a pop-up, you notice how big this is, right? Push notifications a little bit more subtle. I'm going to add a push notification here to show. So let's say uh, Marketing Automation Workshop 24, right? I'll put a title. Christmas sale, right? Uh, click here to see our big selection of Christmas items. I'll put the URL, let's say yourcompany.com. They want to upload an image to change this one. We want to put that picture of the home we were talking about earlier. After all, about coming home for the holidays, right? And tracking. Remember tracking? Yes and push. Yes to track. They opened it. Push to push the tracking pixel out to them. Right? So I can save it. So if we go back here to the workshop 24, we're going to test it right now and show you guys what it looks like uh, on the web. So just give me one moment while I prepare this. Welcome back. So let's say I'm surfing the web right now. Here's the Agile web page, right? Let's say this is your web page, right? So a push notification, a lot of you guys are wondering what it looks like. I'm going to do a test right now and watch it pop up right there. And you see the little push notification pops up. It's very subtle. It doesn't really get in the way. I'm going to click it a few more times in case you have a small monitor. But uh, take a look. Okay. And then you control the settings here. The user control the settings or X out of it. Okay. And they can, they can choose it. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the other display. Hold on one second. Welcome back. So that's the push notification, brand new, and it controls just like a, a, a web rule, except slight difference in the way it displays and reaches out to your customers. Now let's go back to left-hand toolbar. What else do we have? Well, we got social marketing, right? Social marketing for your marketing campaigns, right? With a social media integration, your most vocal social customers can become your biggest brand advocates. Uh, we currently use Twitter, and you could use Twitter in multi-channel engagement campaigns alongside mobile, email, and web marketing techniques. So uh, there's a video here about the Twitter integration, but you just add a stream right away, just into your login information, allow Twitter to access it. And you're ready to start uh, following your streams. Okay. But let's talk about landing page builder next. Landing page builder. Because landing page builder is great. It's your lead magnet. It's a web page created to gather leads online. And creating a landing page in Agile, you can link it from your website, uh, email messages, or online ads. You can add a form in the landing page to gather visitor details, create contacts in Agile automatically, and then nurture them using campaigns. 
So we made a, a major upgrade to the landing page builder over the summer. So let's take a look as it loads up. First thing I want to point out is that the uh, landing page builder has the same drag and drop design uh, as the other section. So with the same drag and drop simplicity as our marketing automation workflow, Agile CRM uh, landing page builder turns anyone into a cutting edge web designer. No coding skills needed. Just change the look and feel of your new landing page with just a few clicks. Uh, you notice here we have a lot of different sections. Each section is defined by blocks. You have the headers, content section, dividers, portfolios. I click on any of these to view the, the section. Uh, for now, I'm going to just choose one of these ones here. And you notice that these templates, right, these, these landing page builder includes a, ride, a, a wide range of high converting templates for unique business needs, from adverts to campaigns to customer retention. You create a beautiful, responsive landing page for higher conversions. So let me pull out the, uh, the landing page here, one of the blocks, so the header block, right? So I can change it right away. Let's say, uh, Christmas is almost here. Come home for the holidays. Spend time with your family. Get great deals on gifts for everyone. Okay, and I could I could use the form. Remember, we just create a web form. You can easily add these web forms to capture leads and trigger marketing automation campaigns. You can grow your email list, engage your customers, and increase conversions with landing page built using the all-in-one sales and marketing app. I can select the form. Remember, we have the Christmas sign up. I can then add the form here, and voila. Now, I want to stick with the picture, right? Maybe I want to add that picture of the home. I can add a video link in this one, but maybe I want to just pick an image for now. I'm going to upload a picture. We want to change that picture in the background here. And even better, we have a code editor. You notice that this is a, a picture we put up, but this is a video button. There's a little video button here, right? Well, if you're eager to modify your landing page code directly, our code editor will let you edit HTML. This gets us in JS for your new landing, JavaScript for your new landing page. You can ensure coherent branding and a unique user experience by choosing a template and then customizing the code. So let's get rid of that button here. I can click on this little sprocket, go to the source code, uh, you do need a little bit of a Java uh, 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 HTML coding here, but I'm going to just find that button. You see here it says video button, right? I'm just going to pull that button out. Hit the checkbox. So look, the button's gone, and then I can customize this. Uh, I want to change that picture. And I could change these as well. Okay. 
So we've got a nice Christmas edition design here. I don't know, it could be more Christmassy, but I think I did a pretty good job for three minutes of work. I'm going to save it. It's called my Christmas uh, Christmas special. Okay, I'll hit save. So then when you want to publish, let's say this page is ready to go, right? The Christmas is ready. I can then publish it here. Now publishing is very quick and easy with Agile Sierra. First I need to give it a uh, subdomain. I'll just call it Christmas. The domain itself will be yourcompany.com. And I could put an optional directory, an optional directory if I like. So let's say like a big sale. But for now, I'll keep this the same once I hit save. All I have to do is consult my tech team. I'll go to the web page builder, uh, wherever it is that you have your website hosted, and create a C name in the record in your DNS settings with the host as Christmas and destination as landing.agilecrm. But first, you know, i got to create this first, and then this becomes the new link. Agile is hosting this landing page, but this becomes your, your landing link. So, you know, Christmas, HTTP, HTTP, colon, slash, slash, Christmas dot, your company dot com. Uh, website building is as easy as that. So we cover a lot today. Uh, we started with the uh, email templates, the campaigns, the triggers, the forms, the social, the push notification, now the landing page. I'm uh, going to go over a couple more things. Uh, don't forget you have reports here. You can obtain metrics about your email, marketing emails, you know the number of emails sent, open, unique clicks, and total clicks. We have the campaign stats, for example. So you can see all the emails sent, uh, skipped. Remember, we just created a campaign today. I'm going to select it here in the upper left hand, right hand corner. Right? And then look at the stats. We didn't send it out, so there won't be any stats here. But I could look at the logs here, for example. So we could do quite a bit in the reports. Don't forget to check out the reports section. Also, you also have web analytics. You get deep insight into customer behaviors and website performance. For example, contact level analytics. Let's say I click into a contact. Let's say I click into this contact here. I want to see their web stats, right? I can get actionable insight into customer activity on your site or app. You can analyze customer interest and web engagement patterns with activity reports, timelines, and real-time alerts. You get these detailed uh, web analytics reports for each of your customers. Know the pages they're interested on, the time spent on each page, their locations and buying preferences. Create tailor-made offers and increase conversion with powerful analytics included for free with every Agile CRM account. So for example, here I see she's using a Mac using Chrome, uh, Safari. Is that Safari? Yeah, that's Safari, right? And uh, I, I would definitely recommend Google Chrome, but if you want to use Safari, feel free. All right, and I can look at the timelines here as well. So a lot of uh, contact level analytics and web stats. Now, I know we spent a lot of time here today, so I know some of you guys have to go. But just one more thing. If you, if you need help at any time, click on your avatar here. Go to Contact Us. You can chat with us right away or click on Support. You can get a nice selection of videos here. Schedule a call. Well, any one of our friendly reps will be happy to help you. Basically, just pick a rep and schedule a time. Or you can uh, hint, hint, uh, sales advertisement. Come to our next training workshop. Sign up. Next week is the sales enablement workshop. Love for you to be a part of it. And uh, thank you so much. And so last thing, if you have to go, just want to don't forget, get the, uh, the tracking code put in. Uh, click here on your avatar. Go to admin settings. Go to the analytics. And get this tracking code, these two or three sentences two or three cents of copy and paste it right in your website's HTML just before the end body tag to enable the tracking, all the magic of Agile Serum to happen. So if you have to leave, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we really do appreciate you taking the time. We're about to open the floor to, uh, to the Q&A section, so feel free to uh, ask us some questions. We'll love it. If you have to go, uh, feel free to email us as well at careagilecrm.com, our phone number one 800 980 0729. So thank you so much, and thank you for taking time to join us today. Really do appreciate it. We're now going to open the floor to the Q&A. If you have a question, feel free and raise your hand in the GoToWebinar. There's a raise hand icon, and you can feel free 
and ask us uh, any questions you would like. So uh, thank you so much, and thank you again for joining us. Uh, feel free. To, uh, let's see if anybody has any questions that we can uh, help answer for you today. Oh, we got a hand. Uh, Sela, welcome. Welcome to, to the workshop. Thank you for joining us today. So great to have you here. Thank you so much. How can I help you today? How about you? Good. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Thank you for joining us while we uh, do the Christmas theme episode. <laughs> Thank you so much. How can we help you? It was nice. It was nice. Uh, I, actually, I'm new to Agile CRM, and, uh, and I love Great. it. I just love it. And we're going to move from Salesforce to Agile. Uh, oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a general question, actually. Sure, of course. Um, do you gonna support uh, right to left uh, languages like Hebrew and Arabic? Uh, we good question. That's a great question. Uh, we we do have some languages right now. We have uh, I think it's in the preferences, in the settings. I can do the advanced. We do have some settings here for language. I think right now we only have Spanish and English right now. We are working in other languages. We, we don't want to. We don't want to the. Yeah, the menus to be in uh, in, uh, in English is, is perfect for, for that. But uh, uh, I'm asking about if I want to write an email or a, to oh, an email. sign a oh, poem. Uh, oh, gotcha. There's no uh, there's no justify uh, right. Yeah. Uh, and it's no, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Currently, there's the main important. language. No, no, you're absolutely right. They're currently, the main language is English right now. Uh, we, we do have suggestions for it. I'll put one in there for you as well, Asel, at end this at the end of this uh, conference here to, to suggest that we also allow uh, you know languages as well in the text. But uh, you're correct. Currently, if I can say any of the text editor, you know, it's mostly just uh, just the uh, English text. In so in places see. that are that the HTML can be changed, can be edited, maybe the web designer can add some some kind of uh, a code to to justify. And uh, to the HTML, that's, but that's, yeah, that's a great question. Actually, you could try, but most of these templates they're pre-built already. So even though you can modify a little bit of the, mm -hmm. just show you real quick. So like I, I took the button out earlier, you definitely mm -hmm. could modify some of it, but a lot of this is preset. You know, it may not take. You can definitely try to edit it here, but you know, not everything can be editable. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's basically a okay. preset template. Yeah, but feel free to give it a shot. Though, if it works, you know, good luck to you. Hopefully, it works out. We're rooting for you. But keep me posted. Maybe, uh, you know, I hope it works out. If, you, if it does work, let me know. I'll be happy to tell the people as well. All right, great. And uh, thank you so much for your time today. So, thank welcome you. again, and looking forward to working with you. Anything else to do to help? Please let us know. Thank you for joining us on the show. Any, any more questions? Any, anything else? We've got another minute. If you like, you have another question. That's it. Oh, thank you so much for your time again. Thank you, Sela. And that was Sela. Some great questions about about edi editing languages like Hebrew and adding additional code in the HTML. Great question there. Thank you so much, Sela, for joining us today. Uh, any other questions? Oh, I guess that's it today. But uh, again, one last thing. If I if I can just. Uh, Mention it one more time before we call it a day. Uh, don't forget to click on the avatar here. Admin settings. Oh, I think I'm slow the wrong page. Avatar, admin settings, right? It keeps going to the landing page. I think there's a slight little hiccup on my side. There we go. There's preferences. We'll go to the admin settings, go to analytics, and copy and paste that tracking code. You need that tracking code. Don't forget. Just want to keep emphasizing. Copy and paste this to the end body tag of the web page you would like tracking for, and that will make the the pop-ups, the forms, and the uh, and and any other of the tracking that you send your emails to the client. The tracking pixel work as well. So thank you so much. Also, don't forget. Click on your avatar. Contact us for the support section. You can chat with us right away. Our tech team is there. But if you want, click on the uh, support. You can watch some of our videos. Uh, give us a call, schedule a call, and sign up for next week's workshop. 
So thank you so much again for joining us today. You guys were a beautiful audience. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Can't wait to work with you again next week. And again, if you want to email us, feel free. Write care at agilecrm.com. That's care at agilecrm.com. Our phone number, 1-800-980-0729. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. Thank you for using Agile CRM. We'll see you all next week. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.